good morning everyone uh, on i am anurag and i'll be the host for today's program on behalf of the institute i uh, welcome all of you to the uh, foundation day of our eminent institute the indian institute of technology kanpur and the ceremony for the distinguished alumnus award uh, i would especially like to welcome the chief guest dr baldev raj the chairman board of governors professor m anand krishna the director professor indranil manna the institute fellows uh, for the for the year 2013 professor n satyamurthy and professor tbs ramohan roy and the distinguished alumnus for this year professor dd sharma i would also like to welcome uh, the deputy director professor ak chaturvedi the deans the heads and all faculty members present and all students who have taken out time uh, their precious time from their tight schedules to be with us today Uh, the institute has come a long way from being a tiny subsidiary to HBTI Kanpur that it started out as, and we all agree that there is a long way further for us to go and greater heights for us to achieve. We are gathered here today to celebrate the creation of our institute and to celebrate the achievements of the greater institute family, be it faculty, students, alumni, or staff. But before we move on to the celebration, it is impo always important to pay heed to traditions. Uh, uh, on this note, I would like to invite the uh, the dignitaries, the director, the uh, uh, honourable chairman, board of governors, the chief guest, and the uh, uh, institute fellows and the distinguished alumnus to kindly come for the lighting of the lamp. I request the dignitaries to kindly occupy the seats in the back. Uh, we will now have the Saraswati Vandana in honor of Goddess Saraswati, the patron of knowledge, uh, by Mrs. Pratya Khandekar. Uh, I request all of you to kindly rise for the Saraswati Vandana. Shardam, 
Buddhi Pradhan Sharedan Buddhi Pradhan Sharedan Om Nada Brahm Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I now request Professor Manna to present a bouquet to all the esteemed guests to welcome to today's occasion. I would now like to invite Professor Manna, the director, to give the welcome address for the gathering. Honorable Chief Guest of the Function, Dr. Baldev Raj, our beloved Chairman Board of Governors, Professor Ananda Krishnan, Dr. Professor TVS Ramon Rao, Professor N. Satyamurti, Professor D.D. Sharma, my esteemed colleagues, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, you are aware that the journey for IIT Kanpur began in 1959. We are the fourth oldest in the chain of now 16 IITs. To be precise, the journey began exactly on the, this day. 2nd November 1959, when IIT Kanpur was registered as a society. The act came later, and it was the vision of our forefathers, including the first prime minister of the country, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and the great efforts of our first director of this institute, Professor Kelker. The institute came into being in, with the initiation started at the HBTI Kanpur, and the campus came into being a little later than that. Kanpur, IIT Kanpur, has a rich history. Of course, I'm not going to recount all of those, but worth mentioning that this IIT is known all over to have started the first science-based engineering education in the country and gave many more new things as a pioneering effort. And many of these actually came because of the landmark project this institute was associated with in the form of Kanpur Indo-American program because of which nine top US universities actually had direct collaboration with IIT Kanpur. So purely by counting years, this is the, our 56th birthday, and we are 55 years old. This is an occasion when we take pride in recollecting the achievements of our colleagues, faculty colleagues, alumni, students, and all those who are associated with IIT Kanpur. I'm happy to inform you that Professor Satchitan Tripathi was awarded the prestigious Shanti Sharup Bhartnagar Award this year. After a gap of few years, IIT Kanpur always has had the habit of winning Bhartnagar prizes uh, routinely, but there were a few years gap, and I hope now this will be again a regular incident every year. Almost a dozen of our colleagues 
were selected as fellows of different national academies, uh, the science academies, the engineering academy. Many younger colleagues received young scientists, young engineers award, uh, various kinds of associateships. Many of our colleagues have published important books, and at least one of our colleagues has been associated with uh, developing what is known as the air quality index for the whole country. I'm not spelling out all the names because the list is long, but this is just to tell you that we value quality, and IIT Kanpur pursues nothing but uh, excellence. We are also associated with several national projects. For example, the National uh, Ganga River Basin Management Project. We are the lead institute in that particular initiative. We are also associated with several other national projects where the mandate is not for a small section, but for the whole country. I also take pride in saying that our students last year made us proud by winning the general championship of inter-IIT sports meet for the first time in the history of IIT Kanpur. And I keep, now I remind them that that's history and we should look forward and continue with our habit. In terms of research and development initiatives, this institute now has decided to map the strength and weaknesses and then look for synergy so that we can actually develop a complete end-to-end -end technology. And we have identified a few areas. Some of them are unmanned air vehicle, flexible electronics, and environmental solutions. The, in, the, in the area of unmanned air vehicle, we have already demonstrated uh, test flights, and I'm told uh, the, the, this prototype now is even able to capture digital data which are of very high quality and could be useful not just for one single purpose but for anything starting from weather monitoring to natural resource uh, mapping uh, uh, for defense purposes, for weather forecasting and various other applications. We are likely to get a very large funding over 100 crore from uh, Ministry of uh, deity, the information technology and electronics. And we, uh, we started our activities in the area of uh, organic photovoltaics and uh, various other kinds of electronic devices through the Samtel Center. Now we would like to graduate that activity into developing complete solutions for developing various sensors, energy harvesting devices, uh, through an initiative called Flexible Electronics Center. And uh, this funding, if it comes, Institute also has committed to top up with about 20% of the total funding received from the ministry. And our goal is to deliver complete technology which uh, will go all the way up to not only prototype, but even should be deployed in the market. Besides high end science, we also are associated with science and heritage initiative. Even yesterday, I was pleasantly surprised to see the recent achievements of the group who are working for a project called RUTAG, which is Rural Technology Initiatives. Uh, this is funded from the Principal Scientific Advisors Office of the country. And many of the exploits show that simple scientific interventions, how effective that could be in improving the quality of life for uh, the, the common masses in the country. All the departments have started observing at least or uh, devoting at least one day for research scholars day. This is where the research scholars come forward and showcase their research exploits and uh, results obtained recently. I'm happy to inform that the cycle probably is almost over, and every department of the institute would have completed one research scholar day by now. In terms of our recent academic initiatives, I'm happy to inform that we have now the 14th department in this institute called Earth Sciences. 
Uh, IIT Kanpur all along consciously maintained a very slim figure. We have, the, we have had always the least number of departments and centers, and even the faculty number-wise also, we are probably one of the smallest among all the older IITs. But with the introduction of these earth sciences, we believe that we are opening up new possibilities which will be interdisciplinary and quantitative approach towards uh, earth and atmospheric sciences. The Institute has completed implementation of the Academic Program Review Committee recommendations. Senate has approved and accepted, and most of the recommendations have been implemented, as a result of which we, have, we now offer various possibilities, various flexible possibilities to our students, starting from minor, major, double major, dual degree, and so on and so forth. We are now deliberating, Senate is, uh, Going, soon going to approve a program on a new kind of a master's degree called MS by Research. And we believe this would be a very good avenue for the project staff uh, who join for sponsored research projects and uh, could pursue a master's program, which eventually can even graduate into a PhD degree. Uh, but they would devote more time for research than undertaking courses. IIT Kanpur now is very keen to have foreign students, foreign faculty, foreign collaborations in very, very active manner. Some of our deans visited USA, Australia, and several countries in Europe. Uh, we have started a joint degree program for the first time with approval of our Senate, which is a joint degree a PhD program between anywhere Singapore and IIT Kanpur and we possibly will have a similar uh, provision with some other renowned foreign universities uh, very soon. Recently, uh, the president of the country and visitor to IITs took a delegation, state delegation to Norway and Finland, and I was fortunate to be a part of that. And IIT Kanpur signed three MOUs with Norway, universities in Norway, and three with uh, universities in Finland. And one of them is a landmark initiative because it's for the first time all 16 IITs came together and signed an MOU with 12 Finnish universities as a consortium. So this shows that thanks to the initiative of the visitor to IITs, the IITs now are also coming together. And I must also report that on August 22nd, the Rashtrapati invited all the directors of IIT and the chairman board of governors. And we all went and spent literally the whole day, more than 12 hours. And uh, in the process, we were able to present every single IIT's initiatives. Apart from that, there were several theme presentations. And uh, one of the theme presentation was on technology domains uh, in front of the country. And happy, I'm happy to inform that as a, a logical extension of this initiative, and again, thanks to uh, the uh, personal initiative of the President INE, Dr. Baldev Raj, uh, we probably will now lead a delegation to US and have a, hold a very meaningful discussion with the National Academy of Engineering USA to forge ahead and create a new curriculum of engineering education geared up towards the so-called grand challenges. And these grand challenges are nothing but uh, logical extension of the technology domains that we presented before the Rashtrapati. As I said that we believe in pursuing excellence and nothing less than that, and that can only be certified by anyone other than our own selves. So we subjected ourselves to peer review the whole institute, every single department, went through internal peer review, which was essentially de department-wise, subject domain-wise, and reviewed by, of course, external experts. And then we had another uh, large team coming and visiting us for an overall institute-level review, which we call the external peer review. And incidentally, Dr. Baldev Raj chaired that committee of external peer review. And I'm happy to inform that Though we started 
pretty late in this review process, but we finished ahead of all other IITs uh, by April this year. The recommendations of these reviews were discussed, deliberated at various fora, uh, including a final presentation to the Board of Governors, which eventually accepted the recommendations of the committee. The Institute is very keen to create and uh, pursue a very transparent and uh, accountable uh, governance system. To energize the governance within the Institute, we have added certain more muscles to the already uh, existing uh, administration. This was in the form of introducing a new cadre of associate deans and a few professors in charge for certain maintenance acts. Now, this, in my opinion, will go a long way to uh, make the system much more effective, efficient, and accountable. Faculty is the biggest strength to take the institute farther ahead. Uh, I mentioned that IIT Kanpur always, for various reasons, maintained a certain number of faculty strength. When I took over in November 2012, two years ago, the number was somewhere around 325. Today, the number is 399. And I'm told by my dean faculty that tomorrow it will reach the 400 mark. We proclaim that in two years' time, we should have 100 more new faculty. We actually would have reached that target, but we decided to go slow because of certain internal constraints. And one of the biggest constraints comes from the fact that uh, we have acute shortage of effective space. Every single faculty requires students around him or her, and that should be in the form of not only offices, but laboratory spaces, even hostel, and various other logistic supports. So infrastructure, in our opinion, is one of the biggest bottleneck in front of the institute now. And it is keeping this in mind, we took permission from the board and created a new deanship called Dean of Infrastructure and Planning. And I'm happy to report that ever since we have uh, started this activity, uh, we have got a new boost towards uh, augmenting our infrastructure. Uh, it's a long list. I'm not going to spell out everything, but uh, I must also recount that we have had some bad experiences in the past in terms of uh, certain uh, very unfortunate incidents, and we realize that uh, safety is an issue which can never be compromised. So because of which we have introduced a safety officer into the system, and uh, because of that, certain delay happened, but now we are back on gear, and we hope to be able to uh, introduce a good number of new infrastructural facilities within the next couple of years. We, have also, we are also very keen to introduce or strengthen the research cadre in the institute. And faculty alone cannot do all the job. Besides uh, teaching, every faculty member is, is involved in uh, research, of course, but in addition, some amount of administration in some form or other. So we realize that there is one cadre which is very sorely missing in the country, particularly in the engineering discipline, and that is postdoctoral fellowship cadre. So we took permission from the board, and we, have now, we are now pursuing to introduce up to about 100 new postdoctoral positions in the institute by converting temporarily the vacant faculty positions with renewable contract postdoctoral fellowship. We also are very keen and we have started the process of introducing research establishment engineers who will also have a renewable contract and uh, they will strengthen the research facilities establishments that we are creating. I must say that in last one year, this institute earned about 100, little over 100 crore of sponsored research and about 11 crore or 12 crore on consultancy. So this 112 crore is certainly a, a mark which is much higher than the previous years, but comparing with other institutions in the country, I personally believe there's a lot of room for improvement. And uh, in, I 
uh, use various fora to appeal to my faculty colleagues that sponsored research is a very effective way of not only boosting the research infrastructure and activities within the institute, but also, in a way, it helps to introduce accountability into our research activities. We must make ourselves relevant to the society. And every single forum in the country, starting from strategic sectors to private industries, even small-scale operators, entrepreneurs, everybody is looking up to IITs to help them come up to a level. Manufacturing needs to be boosted, and knowledge creation should be our only goal and motto. But that knowledge should translate into viable technology and products. And this can be done. There cannot be any better vehicle than IITs to translate this dream. And we all should rise to this occasion. I must finally uh, close here thanking every single member of our big family. And the family starts from this campus and extends all over, including all those illustrious alumni who are making the institute and the country proud by uh, serving wherever they are and doing exceedingly well. Recently, there was a review which placed IITs as a family in the global ranking at fourth position, immediately after Stanford, University of California, MIT. And that was primarily because of the entrepreneurial activity that this uh, uh, IIT uh, alumni have uh, registered over the years. And this is possible because of the large-scale effort from uh, all IITs, and I must say that IIT Kanpur played a big role in that. So I would take this opportunity to thank each one of you, all my faculty colleagues, all scholars, all students, staff members of this institute, and the peers and well-wishers for this institute. The journey began in 1959. We don't know where we are, but we know for sure one thing, that the road ahead of us is a long one with many miles and milestones. And we must play our role by every individual and prove ourselves the best institution in India and among the best in the world. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for those inspirational words. Uh, I now request Professor Anand Krishnan, Chairman, Board of Governors, to kindly share a few words with the audience. Esteemed Chief Guest, Dr. Baldev Raj, Distinguished Director, Dr. Indira Nilmanna, the Institute Fellow Awardee, a very eminent scientist, institution builder, Dr. Satyamurthy, the other Institute Fellow Awardee, very eminent economist, person who served this institute for nearly three decades in IIT Kanpur, and the eminent educationist and researcher, Dr. D.D. Sharma, who is getting the Distinguished Alumnus Award, the deans, heads of the departments, faculty, staff, and students, and guests. Dr. Manna gave an overview of where this institute is and where it wants to go and how it wants to go. I am very glad that he has established this practice of the Foundation Day of the Institute, and this is the second Foundation Day celebrations. And this is an occasion for us to recall where this institute was and how it came to the current status and position. Only that is kind of an institute 
which has the capability to recall and remember the, its traditions, its history, and its, its achievement can build a bright future for itself. And it is also very significant that today we are awarding to an eminent scientist, an eminent humanity, and eminent uh, educationist researcher, because when the, this is the first institute in this country which gave a very significant emphasis on integrating science and humanities with the engineering curriculum. Dr. Kelker always said that we are not producing engineers for highways and PWD and railways at the moment. We are building engineers of the future. And the engineers of the future must be capable of understanding the implications of science and humanities. And he was accused of ruining engineering education in this country. There were great many critics at that time. He said, what is Kelker trying to do? But time has proved that his vision was right. And the whole world, I think, engineering education is going in this direction. So it's a great privilege for me to speak on this Foundation Day. This institute has played a huge part in my own life. When I was a teacher, and when I had the occasion to learn the intricacies of building a new institution, a good institution, and now I continue to be part of the governance system of this institute. I do not exaggerate when I say that the IIT Kanpur changed my life in many ways. And it has been my life and my family. In a way, IIT has also been just like my family. I often wonder if I had not gone, if I had gone to some other institution, what would I have been today? I first came to IIT Kanpur at the age of 35. And I continue with it even at this age of 86. I had the good fortune of working with a great leader, Dr. P. K. Kelker, who built the foundations of this institute. And with his effort, the distinguished colleagues built the present superstructure over the years. And this superstructure is still standing today strong and vibrant in spite of some occasional vibrations. Even when the vibrations took place, some of you were here, it is the faculty and the students who kept the institute still active and alive. The credit goes to the committed faculty, aspiring students, dedicated staff, and devoted alumni and a supportive society. Your success is because you appreciated the vision of the founder and anticipated the needs of the new nation and accepted the challenges of the new world. Now, as Dr. Manna was saying, the only way to meet the challenges of the future is to prepare for the future by systematically investing in research, learning, and innovations, and to give India the scientific and research base. We are now being compared not just with the institutions around the country or just around the region, but globally. And these, we, when we are compared with the global institutions, we remember that they have very different kind of resource base, very different kind of history, very different kind of traditions. And still, we are accepting the challenges that we will stand up to that comparisons. And in spite of the changing political system in the country, which we cannot ignore, and probably changing resource base of this country, 
we still have to accept the challenge and move forward. So given our solid foundation, I'm sure IIT Kanpur will continue to grow and prosper. And I wish you all and wish myself a good luck for the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir, for your enlightening words. We now come to, the, uh, to one of the most important activities we have scheduled, honoring the new institute fellows. Uh, the first new institute fellow we will be honoring today is Professor T.V.S. Ramohan Roy, former professor of economics in the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. I request Professor Surajit Sinha, head of the Department of uh, Humanities and Social Sciences, to kindly come on stage and read the citation for Professor Rao. This, uh, this task of uh, drafting citation hasn't been too, too easy because there are so many memories that we wanted to put together. And then we were told that there's a shortage of space on that, on that, on that, on that honor that that will be given to Professor Rao. And with all that memory in mind, it was, it was a highly shortened citation that we finally prepared. <clears throat> so the best memories that we have, and the way we, we know some of us uh, after joining IIT, that uh, that Professor Rao is not only, was not only an economics faculty, but he was a faculty in the HSS department, which has six disciplines. Uh, Professor TBS Ramabon Rao was born on 28 August 1942 at Parvati Puram in Srikakulam district of Andhra Pradesh. He joined IIT Kanpur in 1971 as an assistant professor of economics. Ever on a quest for new ideas, Professor Rao went on to publish his significant findings in major journals. His research often finely blends theoretical interventions and empirical analysis borne out by various econometric tools. His research interests lie in microeconomic theory, industrial organization, and econometrics. Having guided 15 doctoral students in these areas, he has to his credit 10 books and over 150 articles in national and international journals. Professor Rao's colleagues deeply admired him for his scholarship and simplicity, always willing to reach out beyond the professional call. He particularly mentored his younger colleagues like a nurturing parent. Reaching office early, he spent his entire day discussing exciting ideas and was a benign presence in the department. Simply put, Professor Rao testified to a disciplined and well-regulated life. Professor Rao designed and taught a wide variety of courses and eventually transformed many of these courses into textbooks that are widely used in classrooms across the world. For his UG students, he blended traditional economics courses like microeconomics with engineering applications that he believed to be relevant in an institute of technology. He inspired many graduate students to become committed researchers. Professor Rao is also fondly remembered by his colleagues and students alike for his role as the chief architect of the five-year integrated MSc program in economics at IIT Kanpur. 
Significantly, Professor Rao continues to pursue research with as much passion and gusto as he used to at the height of his professional career. He has contributed 25 articles in peer-reviewed journals since retiring from IIT Kanpur as an Emeritus Fellow in 2007. In recognition of his significant and varied contributions to this institute, IIT Kanpur takes pride and pleasure in conferring the award of Institute Fellow for 2013 on Professor TBS Ramamohan Rao. I now request the Honorable Director, the Honorable Chief Guest, and the Honorable Chairman Board of Governors to kindly present the, uh, the shawl, the citation, and a silver memento to Professor Rao. I request Professor Rao to kindly share. Uh, I request Professor Rao to kindly share some of his uh, experiences with the gathering. Uh, I, I guess I, I'm not going to take very long. I'll just read out a few lines uh, which came out of my heart. At the inception of IIT Kanpur, the visionary in Professor Kelkar acknowledged that the HSS department has a fundamental role in the development of engineers and scientists as responsible citizens. From that time till today, the faculty of the department made exceptional contributions to the innovative educational process that has been the hallmark of IIT Kanpur. I admire the IITK administration for this acknowledgement. They chose me as an instrument through which to express this sentiment. Against this backdrop, I accept the honor of an institute fellow on behalf of the HSS department. I'm deeply indebted to my colleagues, past and present. I can only claim that I made every possible attempt to give my very best to IITK while I was here. I promise you that I will continue doing so as long as I'm alive. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we now move on to uh, the second institute fellow we are honoring today. Uh, which is Professor N. Satyamurthy, who is presently the director of ICER Mohali and uh, a professor in the Department of Chemistry. I request Professor P. K. Bharadwaj, head of the Department of Chemistry, to kindly read the citation for Professor, for professor Satyamurthy. Distinguished uh, personalities on the dais, my uh, dear colleagues, students, faculty members, ladies and gentlemen, I will now read the citation of that towering figure in the world of science, Professor Satamurti. Professor Narayan Sami Satamurti, professor at the chemistry department of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, is currently the director of Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research at Mohali. He was born on July 10, 1951 at Setur in Puducherry. He received his BSc and MSc degrees from Annamalai University in Tamil Nadu. 
He obtained his PhD degree in 1975 from Oklahoma State University, USA. After his postdoctoral stint at the University of Toronto during 1975 to 1978, he joined IIT Kanpur as a faculty member in 1978 and rose to the rank of full professor in 1985. Apart from being a very dynamic faculty member, both in terms of teaching and research, he served the institute in various capacities, including the head of chemistry, member of the board of governors, and dean of faculty affairs. In 2007, he became the founder director of the Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research at Mohali. At international level, he was the chairman of the National Scientific Committee of the International Chemistry Olympiad held at Mumbai in 2001. He is the founder president of the Indian Association of Chemistry Teachers. He has been a member of the editorial boards of several national and international journals. Besides, he has been and is still continuing as chairperson or member of various important committees dealing with research and education in the country. Professor Satamurti has made notable contributions on the sensitivity of molecular reaction dynamics, accuracy of potential energy surface, vibration and orientation on reaction cross-section, chaos and fractals in chemical dynamics, structure and stability of water clusters, water molecules in confined environments, molecular clusters as designer materials for the nano world and so on. Professor Satamurti has been the recipient of many awards and honors. He was conferred the Young Scientist Medal by INSA in 1980, Young Associate of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore in 1983, Reverend Yedanapalli Memorial Award of the, by the Indian Chemical Society in 1989, Santi Saru Bhatnagar Prize in Chemical Sciences in the year 1990. Sir C. V. Raman Award and Horium Ashram Trust Award by UGC in 1997. Fiki Award in 2001 and Silver Medal by the Chemical Research Society of India. Professor Navanita Rao Best Teacher Award by the Andhra Pradesh Academy of Sciences. Professor Satamurti is a fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore. Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, and the Academy of Sciences for the Developing World. He was INSA Research Fellow and Alexander von Humboldt Fellow. Presently, he is a J.C. Bose National Fellow and Honorary Professor at S.N. Bose National Center for Basic Sciences, Kolkata, and Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Science Advanced Scientific Research, Bangalore. Professor Satamurti played a key role in establishing the Department of Biological Sciences and Bioengineering at IIT Kanpur in 2001. His tireless and selfless services towards the growth of the Institute is exemplified in his supreme contributions in creating the bio program at IIT Kanpur. It is indeed a matter of honor for the Institute to confer upon Professor Satamurti the award of Institute Fellow for the year 2013 on, the, on this Institute Foundation Day of second day of November 2014. Uh, I uh, request the director, the chairman, board of governors, and the chief guest to kindly uh, uh, present the award to Professor Satyamurti. I also invite uh, Mrs. Satyamurti to the dais and request the director to present her with a bouquet and a shawl.
Uh, I request Professor Satyamurthy to kindly share some of his experiences with the gathering. Professor Anandakrishnan, Professor Manna, <coughs> Professor Ramahan Rao, Dr. Baldev Raj, DD, and friends. I promise you my little talk will not be as brief as that of Professor Ramahan Rao, difficult to compete. Uh, but I cannot help making a little longer uh, speech. First of all, I'm a little feel awkward in receiving the Institute Fellowship at this juncture, but, uh, because I'm still a professor at IIT Kanpur. Traditionally, it is given to people who have retired and gone, although I know there are exceptions. But therefore, it's a unique feeling, a sense of uh, humility. Uh, IIT Kanpur is a unique place you just, just now you witness something that happened. That happens at IIT Kanpur only, where the director was kind enough, generous enough to call Mrs. Satyamurthy and present her the shawl. That's IIT Kanpur. Once you're an IIT KN, you're always an IIT KN, always maintained, I recollected what I learned when I went to Srinagar 1971, some poet, I do not know his name, pardon me. He said, if there is a heaven on earth, this is it, this is it. That's what he is supposed to have said about IIT Kanpur. I, sorry, about Kashmir. But that is the way I always thought of, I think of IIT Kanpur. If there is an academic heaven on earth, this is it, this is it, is what I would say about IIT Kanpur. I still remember, my wife and I fondly remembered, remember and we recollected a few weeks ago to Professor Ranganathan. On July 5, 1978, when I landed in, both of us landed in Kanpur, there was a head of the department standing in platform number one to receive us, Professor Ranganathan with pipe in his mouth. I don't know of many institutions where this would happen. This tradition continued for quite some time, and I was told we were inspired from the day I joined about stories about Professor Kelkar. So when I had an opportunity to go start Aisar Mohali, I have been copying unabashedly IIT Kanpur and Professor Kelkar from whatever I have heard of him. The traditions of this place are unique. I see Rabin Mukherjee, Director ISER Kolkata has come. There was a time, four out of five ISERs, ISER Mohali, ISER Kolkata, ISER Bhopal, Dr. Vinod Singh is the director, ISER Trivanandapuram, Jemis, who is a member of the board now, was the director. The only exception was ISER Pune. I said, no, that's not an exception because he's a son-in-law of IIT Kanpur. <laughs> Another time I remember, I saw Dr. Manna in Hyderabad. Uh, he was there, I said, can you turn around this way? We would like to induct you as honorary professor in the chemistry department of IIT Kanpur. He laughed because uh, we were all sitting there. Now we are in different parts of India. But you just look around quickly in any decision making, in chemistry in particular, you cannot avoid IIT Kanpur chemistry department. And the only person who was exception to that was Professor Manna, that is why we had to induct him as honorary professor of the chemistry department. I can say a lot, I should not say a lot, because these are occasions you are supposed to be very brief, you are supposed to recollect how wonderful it has been in, in this place, I look forward to coming back here. My job ends in Aisar Mohali in another year and a half. And I presume that I come back here. My formal retirement will be from IIT Kanpur. 
And uh, there's so many things that I can say, but I have to be brief. Otherwise, I will get signals from the director and, and the chairman. A couple of, again, unique things about IIT Kanpur. When the this institute decided to make me a professor, I was still young enough, 34. Except in the initial stages of IIT Kanpur, this has not happened. So it's one of the unique traditions of IIT Kanpur. Catch them young and nurture them has been the place where we learn to teach, where we learn to do research. Right on the first day, we are told that you do whatever you want. Sky is the limit. We have a professor of mechanical engineering who published in one of the classic papers in anthropology. We have a professor. We had a professor in metallurgy who was, was an expert in linguistics. Kanpur did not know any boundaries. Engineering and sciences were together, and as been said repeatedly, humanities and social sciences was part of IIT Kanpur curriculum. Institute has grown big. I keep coming, I keep watching it from the sidelines. But one thing that concerns me is that in this August audience, I am delighted to see a large number of my colleagues here, but I miss the large number of students who used to fill up Hall L7, any function of the institute, they used to be present in large number. I can almost count them in, in, in my hands, and that is not good for IIT K, because it is, to them I would like to say, it is your institute, but for you we have no job in this place, and everybody else has no job. I request my student friends to go back and tell the rest of the students, today it's about 8,000 students I gather. In a hall like this, it should be overflowing, not for some of us, because it is a foundation day. It's a day, as the chairman said, we have to fondly remember. History was being created on that day, somebody putting a signature and registering the society. The institute where I come from today, we we have foundation day every year. For us, it was easy. The day the prime minister laid the foundation, we decided to call that as a foundation day. We have foundation day lectures year after year. And it's a good tradition. I hope it will continue. There are lots of things that I can say about IIT Kanpur. It has been always a leader. It continues to be a leader. And I'm sure it will continue to be a leader in the years to come. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sense of gratitude on my behalf, on behalf of my wife, who has always been integral part of my personal and professional uh, growth. And sir, to you and to the chairman, I would like to say to, through you and to my colleagues here, how grateful we are. Thank you.